G'day everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today we're going to be showing how to write a new tune to a supported PCM using Elastro for Windows with an OBDX Pro VT. So after you've made sure your tool is installed, you've checked the COM port and all of that as part of our previous videos, go ahead and actually select your COM port. So COM7, press connect. Here we go, shows you have 13 volts and that's what my power supply is actually set to. Uh, our PCM type, so we want to be selecting an LS1 since my current ECU on the bench is a PO1 from an LS1 vehicle, so I'm going to select that one. Now I want to identify the vehicle. You can see here, grab some information, OS, VIN, serial. You can also grab segment IDs and hardware details, get some more information about uh, the ECU connected. The next step is after, uh, after we've done all that, we can actually go ahead and select the file that we want to flash. So this is the file that you've used in a free editor such as Tuner Pro or something else and uh, the, it's your edited save file that you want to now flash to it. That file needs to be uh, correct with correct checksums. If it has invalid checksums, you will not be able to proceed and it's done to actually protect you from corrupting your ECU. Uh, but basically all you do is click the flash calibration and then the file that we select here. So I've got one here, I've done that's off. So I'm gonna select that one and then as soon as I press open, it's gonna process this file and start flashing it to the Android computer. So let's go ahead and press open. So now it's going to start preparing the system in ECU to flash. It's unlocked it, it's uh, uploaded the bootloader or the kernel, and now it's actually start the flashing procedure. So you can see here, it's not, it's not gonna to take too long, probably about uh, 20 to 30 seconds. This is all the data in a raw format. Uh, but looking at it here, you can see we're more than halfway through already. Just sit back, don't touch anything, um, and let it complete uh, completely uh, so that we get a successful flash. Once it's done, it will give us a little prompt. There you go, clearing some faults. It's now wiping away the custom uh, kernel for flashing. So it says to turn off, so I'm just gonna turn off my ignition. Okay, now it's just doing a countdown to, to let everything settle for a moment. And after that, we'll ignition back up again. And there we go. Yep, so ignition back up. That's okay. And that's it. That's, that's all it was. It's now being flashed, it's now been done. We should now be able to still identify this ECU. That's it. We have now successfully written that file to it and it's now ready to take off the bench and pop back in the car. All right, well, thanks for watching. Any questions, please post below. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.